I'm Oscar and J-Boy. It's time for a Let's Play. Woo! Woo! I'm totally a ghost. I have pee. Hey guys, Oscar here. Welcome back to the second installment of Let's Play Absent, the game with the best artwork ever. You know me, Oscar Alonzo from Shattered Cast on Cuts. Let's go ahead and get this game rolling. And if you happen to hear what sounds like a couple of ninjas fighting with katana blades, that's my ceiling fan, and it's about to go down. No, seriously, it's shaking really violently, and I'm, I figured I might as well um, follow through on this game a little bit more because the wife and I are moving to a new place, and um, I get what I can out of that ceiling fan. to get home, guys. Let's go ahead and load our game. Ooh, yeah. Highlighted. Let's play wide. Restore. And we're back to the guy who we all have to ask the same question. With a chin like that, how the hell do you fold towels? So, let's get a good look at him. What a pig. Well, that's a shallow thing to say, Murray. So let's do a quick recap before we get started on this game. Steven knows his girl named Crystal. They're dating. They make out. Bully showed up. Steven left because he's got a bus to catch and he has no time to save his girlfriend. Bullies threaten Crystal. While Crystal's calling boyfriend at the end of the day, the evil entity comes up and just takes her. Well, Steven gets worried because he hasn't heard from her at all that weekend. So instead of calling the police and filing a missing persons report, assuming that Crystal is an adult by now, he decides he's going to tell his friends and they're all going to look for her. Well, it turns out they were late for school so they didn't have time to look for her. On their way to school, they find Crystal's cell phone. Steven, being a big baby that he is, decides that, holy crap, this has the same mental effect on me as it did Bruce Wayne when he found his parents and falls to his knees looking at the cell phone. They find out that Grant, the friend of Lloyd the bully, was also taken by the entity, and then Steven knocks out Lloyd because thug life, that's why. And now we're here, observing this guy eating stuff, to no avail. It's completely full of this guy's food. What kind of food? It's completely full of this guy's food. Disgusting. So, if we try to take it, this is what basically happens. Hmm. Let's see what we can see here. Hey, get away from my food! I need it all! Aw, <laughs> oh, poor Ginger. There. There you go. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Um, hello there. What? <laughs> uh, oh, and by the way, Crystal clearly has no last name. Um, and this is the first time that I guess Murray here learned about Crystal from his best friend Steve. And they were friends for a very long time. So let's ask, have you ever heard of have a girl? Have you heard of a girl called Crystal? She goes to this college and she was supposedly in here on Friday before she was uh, murdered. There was apparently some sort of confrontation in here before that. Oh, sorry to hear that, mate. But yeah, I do remember a girl in here the other day. Then these boys came in, and one threatened her life. You heard that? Were you eavesdropping? We all heard it. And no, I wasn't. Anyway, the boys walked off, and then threw a pen on the ground. Pen? Yeah, she was like drawing in a notepad before she was disturbed. Anyway... In the end, she just collected her stuff and then left. Alright. What are you eating? Oh, this is last Friday's dinner. It's so good, I'm savouring every bite. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's so good, I'm savouring every boy. Oh, I well, have a phone battery. You wouldn't happen to have a phone. Uh, of course I do, caveman. Everybody who's a living human has a phone. Although, admittedly, I don't use it that much anymore. Not enough people to talk to. I swear this college has gotten less crowded since the year began. Oh, maybe there's a link between the two. A link of justice. How long have you been in here? Um, I don't know, a few days? Days? But the canteen isn't open that long. Right. I think Miss What's-Her-Face over there is proper ticked off with me now. I think I'll leave you to your meat feast. Ta. <laughs> Ta, mate. So, let's go ahead and uh, show him some stuff. Uh, 
I don't want to give him that. He might eat it. Okay. How about the phone? Let's see if he's got a battery or a charger. I don't want to give him that. He, he might, might eat it. it. Yes, of course. Okay. Well, clearly this guy is next to absolutely fucking useless. So, and we do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's like he's skating. Do, 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 do. Whoa, sorry. Went off screen there. Sorry, sorry. And now there's the image of Grant. Of Lloyd, I'm sorry. Um, Lloyd? You seem a little... stuck? It's a vision. He can't hear me. Well, that was worth a try. Let's go in the kitchen. Stay out of the kitchen. Okay. Let's look at the menu. On today's menu, Mary's breakfast mess, Miss Fish's sausage burger and egg muffin with steak and chips, Linda's lunchtime brunch, eggy bread, Ugh. and for today's special and only acceptable dish for the meal deal, curly fries with ketchup. Today's drinks are Golly's crushed grapes and Fenton's new gravy. Gravy? Purchase the meal deal and receive a free complimentary drink. And a free notepad. Woo! Let's see if we can whack on the shutter here. I can't open it from this side. Alright, so we need to use the door back to the foyer. I guess we're gonna go upstairs. This is all blind from here on out. I've only practiced up to the point where you met the the eating machine there. That's an auto rug. Oh, you can't even look at that. Guys, we're gonna go upstairs now. Is this us? Okay, well, I guess we'll go to the first floor first. Can't see what I did there. I think it's out of order. Oh, look. What are you looking at? Hey, wait, wait a minute. What's that reflected in the mirror? Is that Lloyd? Why does he keep popping up all over the place? Yeah? Murray? Uh, yeah? Oh, wait. H he's a vision. So, at some point in the future, Lloyd will be stuck in a lift calling my name. Uh, okay. Here we go to the second floor. Oh, that's safe. Look at that. Oh, thank goodness that's a safe elevator. So, what if we were to go this way here? No, nothing there at all. So, we can't even go that way, so. And we go in here in the corridor now. It's still locked from that fire last Friday. Oh, well. We of had to course. evacuate the whole college. Only problem is, my locker's in there. Good thing I've got everything I need right here. Just your credit card. Let's go into the classroom. Whoops! Class in session. Okay. Well, let's go to the staff room. Murray? About time too. I expect you've got last month's homework assignment for me by now. Oh, wonderful. Uh, how was your weekend, miss? Oh, it was rather tiring. Thank you for asking, though. If only your timekeeping was up to scratch with your attitude. But there's nothing wrong with my attitude. That's what I'm saying. Sorry, miss. What was the homework about? You should know, Murray. You've had over a month to do it. Oh. You're not much help, are you? I think it's time to find a classmate to help me out. Oh, God, I haven't got my homework! Well, then, I'll just have to mark it down as absent. Title no, wait, wait, drop. hold on. Give me a chance. I'm gonna go do some work or something. Don't get distracted by too many games. Okay, so I couldn't even ask her anything. Let's open this up. No, it's appropriately miserable in here. Ah, oh, you fucking loser. All right. Get back on the elevator. God, it's like he's skating on the floor, but at the same time, it's... 
Oh. Well, the first floor doesn't work, but we'll go to the ground floor. There's Lloyd back in the mirror again. I guess we're gonna... Yep, nowhere else we could go around here, so we'll just leave. Come along. Alright, so... Can we use the forest shortcuts, and we're gonna end up taking a long way. Maybe we'll find out some extra clues there. There's our friend Eve, who looks like she's about to straight up deadlift our friend there, but we'll use the road to town. Okay, come on. Now we'll take the long way to college. Whoa, sorry about that. Sorry. Nah, I'll just use the shortcut. Oh, come on, there could be clues. Ah, you're no Batman, good sir. All right, let's talk to Eve. We get any information out of her? Eve? Yeah. Remember the big homework piece that we had to do over the holidays? Do you remember the big homework piece we had to do for over the holidays? What? The one about morals and ethics of media? Oh, I don't even remember. Oh, uh, is that if a Gamergate reference? Holidays, then that's the one. You mean you didn't do it? Our teacher's going to explode. That's why I'm coming to you. Have you got it on you? Actually, yes. Oh, thanks, Eve. You're a lifesaver. It's got my name on the top, though, so you might want to change that. Why can't you do it? I don't have a pen. Ah! Oh, we've got a pen! I found a pen for the homework, Eve. Great. If you just give it here. Oh, alright. Done. Thanks. Jeez, Eve, this stuff's boring enough to send you to sleep. No offense. That could just be the weather kicking in. Kinda makes you just want to take a nap in the middle of the day. I guess. Bro, bro. Well, thanks again for the homework. She's offering to sleep with you, bro. Eve? Yeah? Uh, okay, we need Lloyd to help us against this creature. How's, How's Lloyd, Lloyd doing? doing? He's still knocked out. Don't worry, though. I'll stay here with him. Good. Don't let him out of sight. We need him for the future. Once again, Lloyd and Steve on speaking terms. Why does Steve think Lloyd killed his girlfriend again? So you're telling me you can't, you can't see the vision. Uh. Why does Steve think Lloyd killed his girlfriend again? I think it's because Lloyd was threatening Chris a little while before it happened. I think Steve's jumping to conclusions a little too much, though. Alright, so... Let's make sure... Eve, we need Lloyd to help us against this... creature. Murray, I really don't understand what you're talking about. First you tell me that you've got these visions, then you're saying that we're all in danger from some beast or something. We are! If Lloyd doesn't wake up, I don't see us with a chance. Now you're talking like you're some kind of hero. You're nothing but a college student. Of justice. Not anymore. I'm letting my visions decide what happens to us. Things like this don't come around every day. Oh my god. Someone needs help. See you later, Eve. Don't be too long, Murray. Let's check our inventory. There we go. What? If this homework's purpose was to bore you from the first sentence, it does the job. Uh, Criminy homework. All right, we're gonna come on. Go to the college. Do 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 Keep walking. Let's see what else is back down here. Hey, look, it's Steve! Stare dead at us. You lock your new mouth, Steve. Steve? What? Are you feeling alright? Steve, are you feeling alright? Horrible. Don't think I'm ever going to get over her. She was one in seven billion... Oh, God. Prime ear river there, Steve, personally. it wasn't Lloyd, you know. Oh, what proof have you got? Um, what's yours? Crystal told me over the phone before she died that Lloyd threatened her life in the canteen. And then look what happened. Your proof? Uh, I had a vision. Credible. Right. It's totally credible. It's going to take a little more than that to take Lloyd off the suspect list, Murray. 
Well, it's a good thing you're a fucking cop. Alright, I'm serious, Steve. I'm serious, Steve. It wasn't Lloyd that killed Crystal. You know what? If you prove me wrong, we'll track the real murderer down. Till then, I am putting the blame on Lloyd. I'll leave you alone now, Steve. Thanks, Murray. Cause we're bros, bro! Do 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 do. So I guess we're going to be going to the teacher, we're gonna hand in our homework, and there we'll be able to decipher if in fact Lloyd is free of any blame. And then we'll be able to prove it to Steven and get him to help us along there. God. That's a thunder sound effect. So we'll go ahead and we'll knock on a door. Do 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 skate skate skate. Murray sure loves his rollerblades. I suppose you have your homework to hand me now, Murray. There's your homework, lady. Your homework, miss. Oh, really? Hmm. This is acceptable. Really? I mean, of course it is. I will take this and have it marked by tomorrow's lesson. Now. You said there was something you needed from me? Oh, uh, not at the moment. No way! Thanks anyway. Oh, you right. fucking get. Come back if you need anything. Ah. Oh. Well, that resolved nothing. I think it's out of order. Well, it's a good thing Thor was there to, you know, work the elevator. So that's the eating machine here again. What is it? Uh. Hello again. What now? Have you seen what they've got on the menu today? Some sort of special meal deal? It's not as good as last Friday's deal where everything was free. But it's alright. Half price food and a free drink. Why don't you go get some then? Rather than feast on last Friday's mouldy meat? Because A. I'm out of money. 2. The dinner lady is refusing to serve me for keeping her back after hours. And four, I can't move. Because of all your weight? No, because of all this food. Would you like me to get you a meal deal? Would you? That'd be nice. Okay. If you're not using the phone anymore, could I borrow your battery perhaps? Hey, of course. Thanks. Yay. If... Ah, well, waiting for that. Fetch question. If you can get that dinner lady to give me the deal of the day. So, if I bring you the meal deal, you'll give me your battery? Lend you my battery, yes. Perhaps. Okay. I think I'll leave you to your meat feast. Ta. Okay. Hello? You can't come back here. Hello? Hey. You can't come back here. Hello? We're closed. Come back later. Hello? We're closed. Come back later. Alright, do I, I bang can't open on it that? from this side. No, I cannot bang on that. Uh Looks like they're not serving right now. Alright, guess we're gonna leave here. And skate one, two, skate one, two. So let's talk to her again. Maybe we'll get some information. Excuse me? Yes. Rather quiet today, isn't it? Well, the important thing is, it's busier than the weekend. For now. Bum, bum, Thanks for bum. the help. You're welcome. Oh, we got a clock up here. Let's see if we could look at the clock. 
It's 10 in the morning. And we can even look at that. So it's 10 o'clock in the morning. See what's in your inventory box. Do we use anything here on him? Oh, let's use the pen. He won't take it. Bastard. as we could go. I'll need to use a credit card. Oh, wait, that's right. Dumbass here doesn't know his fucking pin numbers. He wrote it really small. I'll just put my card in here and... Oh, mm, I can't remember my number. Let's see what this note says. Attention to all members of the public. Bank closed until further notice. Cash point open all day, all week. Yours, Mr. Teller. And just like the back of Blitchick Lee, we are going to be closing this Let's Play because I don't know what to do. And just in the spirithood of all serious gamers, I'm going to resort a walkthrough. So we are going to go ahead and save this under... Whoa. Let's play two. And we'll see you guys next time.